can I welcome you to this May Day Rally. My name is Martin Gould, I'm the President of the South and East Region of the TUC and I'm chairing the first part uh, of this rally on behalf of the London May Day Commission. We're here today to celebrate the press traditions of May Day. Peace, solidarity and internationalism. We're also here to celebrate the lives of two giants of the Labour movement, Bob Crow and Tony Benn. In keeping with the May Day traditions, Bob and Tony also supported peace, solidarity and internationalism. We were all, we were all of us, shocked and dismayed to learn of the death of Tony and Bob. Both men were committed to the interests of the working class and to trade unions. If they were alive and well today, they would either be here speaking or at some other May Day event. Bob was renowned for his fearlessness in defending and advancing the interests of his members. They understood, you all understand, that Bob, Bob Crow was a leader prepared to take the governor on. He was totally loyal and had been on the RMT picket this week. Bob was an organiser. He supported workers here and around the world. He was a dedicated socialist and his much missed. Tony Benn, Tony was a, a tireless in his campaigns on behalf of ordinary people. He was always put in the case to extend democracy and justice, which was why he was so feared by the ruling class. Tony fought for socialism around the world. Uniting workers was his watchword. He was a deep thinker who turned thoughts into action. He was an author, a diarist, and above all, he was an activist. And he knew what side he was on. Both men will be greatly missed by the movement. Not in a sentimental way, but by us throwing all our strength into the struggles they stood for. They were champions of the trade unions and trade union rights. They fought for peace, socialism and worker in struggle. We send our sympathies to the families. We remain in the battles they fought so hard for. We pick up the fight where they left off. We thank them for their humanity, for their principal commitment, and for their example and leadership. Thanks very much, Tony and Bob. We've got a great platform of speakers for you uh, today, and uh, I want to get, get off and get started by introducing Bob Crow's daughter, Natasha.
You will not get to be as young as Phil until I turn 21. He won't get to grow old with my mum. And he won't get to watch his beautiful grandchildren grow into little people. These are the times we will hurt most at his absence. But we also have our shared memories, those wonderful things we did get to do. Those things that make us smile when we think of him. I will think of him when I see a man in a flat cap, when I hear Millwall mentioned on TV or The Sopranos. But mostly, I will think of him when I need to find my inner strength, because he always knew what to say to motivate me to pick myself back up. He was inspirational, courageous, and pushed us all to find ourselves, to stand on our own two feet, to become grown up with a purpose in life. And he was also caring and gentle in his individual ways. But most importantly, he was always there and he always followed through. He was an amazing family man, father, and lifelong partner. And he left such a huge mark on all our lives. When recently reminiscing about his character, one huge part of his personality shone through. He was a man who loved to laugh, and loved to see others laughing too. From those who worked with, to chasing us around the house with the tent spiders, down to little grandchildren singing songs like Bar Bar Batchy, then to the hysterics of the big clue at the end, while he laughed that he need laugh with him. He has always had the ability to make us smile, and it helps that you have the knack for remembering the new war of those two. No one likes us, we don't care. <laughs>
Thank you. Thank you very much, Natasha. I thought it was a big crowd. Our next speaker uh, is very busy this week, I'm sure.